But uh, yeah, it isn't all about Jumbo Visma. Well, we could also talk about a different team. They had success at the UAE Tour with sprint stages and the taking the overall and also the team time trial. But what is happening with Sudal Quickstep's classics campaign? We, we've we spoken about it in a number of years where they've just faded in, in the couple seasons almost. Yeah, it feels like it only really started last year for me because, you know, I, it was only, it only feels like yesterday, but Asgoin was really dominating all the, the, well, not dominating, but, you know, he was doing really well in, in all the cobbled races and the days of like 2019 when Gilbert won Roubaix and they also had Lampart on the podium. And then the emergence of sort of Seneschal came along as well. And it was like, oh, this is a really kind of very versatile team. But of course, it's just kind of, I don't know, somehow something has changed. I can't quite put my finger on it, but something happened last year where things didn't go their way. The ball stopped rolling last year, so to say, and it's just been, it just hasn't really got going yet. Again, I'm not sure if it's to do with the, the Alaphilippe factor. Maybe they just need a bit of zing just injected into the team. I'm not really sure, but it's just a little bit, it is a bit stale and I don't know what it is. It's a shame because I, I think Quickstep are just a, an absolute kind of must-have in the classics. It's so odd that they weren't really present. I mean, they got sixth place with Ballerini in, in Omlu and, and Jakobsen's not really firing on all cylinders either. He was barely able to sprint at the end of Kerner today. He didn't manage to make it to win the bunch kick. So I'm not really sure what's going on with Quickstep, but I hope they turn it around. I think missing Zing is quite a good way of putting it because they, they have an awful lot of Good guys, good performers, but not an awful lot of winners of, of big classics. What do I mean by that? In terms of we, we don't have sort of someone anchoring the, the, the team completely and they can't rely on the sort of anarchy that they used to have in 2019 where you could rely on these guys to really keep pushing and maybe one of them will, will, will get a win and they have a mutually agreed uh, confidence among themselves. I don't think they have that anymore. As much as I absolutely love the man from Combray in France, Florence Seneschal, I don't think he is going to win a Roubaix. I don't think he will win a Ronde von Flandre. He, he has even podium to monument yet in, in his career. I think it's it's bold to, to to put him out there as sort of a guy that you can sort of you are mutually confident will get a good result in one of these Flemish classics. I don't think it's realistic. Yves Lampart, similarly, he's not a winner of Cobble Classics. Maybe what Duas de Flandre, that was five years ago now, six years ago, in fact. It's a while back, and we're we're, we're sort of missing that sort of that sucker punch that, that they used to have with top form Gilbert, top form Stibar, peak Asgreen. I think Asgreen's currently going through sort of not identity crisis, but he can't quite work out if he's a if he's a wild card breakaway guy is he is he a bit of a hilly guy who can who can climb quite well is he sort of going for for, for the cobble classics could he win every bay who knows i don't think he knows either um and we're, we're currently seeing sort of as wither away a bit which is um i mean a shame to see he he did seem very confident about his chances he and julian philippe's chances at ronde von flandre so we'll wait and see if that will be the big shift this is only the opening weekend but it doesn't really give us a good indication of what's to come you think That's the true. elephant in the room is one Remco of Interpol that they poured all their attention and focus into the Remco project and then they've kind of the other parts that they're so good at so dial quick step because they're not renowned as a GC team they'd never won a Grand Tour before that Welta last year do you think that might be yeah a bit a bit like um parallels here with like Team Sky uh and sort of once once we had peak general classification team sky 2012 through 15 that classics campaign was, uh, was a bit meh they didn't quite have uh, the, the cobble guys there and then once once the gc thing was kind of set up running running it as, as it should be as a well-oiled train then the, the, they started firing in the classics maybe it's a similar thing here where uh, the GC focus does take up a lot of resources and you've got staff members here, there and everywhere focusing on different goals and different racing. Probably the first time in their since 2019, since the UAE tour began, that they've cared more about the UAE or the UAE tour from a results perspective than Omelope and Newsblood. And that is sort of remarkable to say for Sudal Quickstep as a team, a team that has been at the tip top level of the classics for the past 20 years. We'll wait and see. Maybe maybe the GC focus is clouding things a little bit. But even last year, before Remgrave and the Paul won the Balta Espana, we were still seeing a weekend. Uh, classics squad from them. They might have kind of like rested on their laurels a little bit because they were winning 
the classics so much that they essentially didn't progress the classics team they said okay the classics team is good and it's going to do us for another two three seasons or whatever and they've actually been caught off guard by the rapid progression of other teams like Alperson and Jumbo Visma who have immediately and very rapidly caught up and surpassed them whilst they've been focusing on the Remco so they haven't really made signings into the kind of classic squad have they? If you think mm. about all their signings, it's always it's all been towards the Remco project, as as Scott said, that they have st- like stunted the progression of their classic squad. And it's not like it's bad; it's just that it used to be up here, but now it's 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 down here because it's just because they haven't innovated, they haven't tried to to move it forwards. They've just kept it at a, a level that they were three years ago, and that's not good enough anymore. Van Bala could have been swept up. That's something they would have done back in 2016, is by Van Bala. And Anthony Teorgis would be a brilliant match for Sudal Quickstep. Um, trying to think of other riders who would really fit in uh, with, with, with the squad. I mean, there are, there are guys probably out there who would slot into this force very well. I know. Oh, Dilly, Dilly, Dilly yes. Um, but I guess he, he's now chained up on a very, very long contract. So it'd be interesting to see what they bring in this year with the with the transfer market again. Are they gonna push for more climbers? Or are they gonna are they gonna let go of a couple of their classics guys because it's not worthwhile anymore? We'll find out. But they shouldn't lose sight of what their bread and butter is. They are a Flemish team with a very, very Flemish identity. I think I think they still do care about the cobble classics. They just need to figure out how they can succeed in the races they do care about. 